Heather Johnson says she got an email from more public schools a few days ago saying her kids' bus stop location had changed. Come to find out, it was because Johnson says a group of students were let out in front of a sex offender's home a few blocks away. I'm trying to keep kids safe and I don't want to bring children to the yards of of offenders. Johnson says she did some research and it isn't illegal for sex offenders to live near a school bus stop. On Monday, she wanted to bring awareness to the issue. She made signs and started a petition, hoping state and national lawmakers will notice. I am always a person about change or, and, and a fix it really is kind of my personality. And if I can help fix it for locally, but also nationally, I've done something and I want to make a change.